I am calling this meeting to order. I would like to request that everyone take a moment to mute your cell phone or Blackberries or whatever devices you have that ring, ding, and notify. CUNY TV is transmitting the public sessions of this afternoon's meeting of the Board of Trustees Standing Committee live on cable channel 75. This meeting is also being webcast live at www.cuny.edu forward slash live stream, providing service worldwide via personal computers and mobile devices. The public session of this meeting will be available as a podcast within 24 hours and can also be accessed via the CUNY website. Now to the business of the committee. Action item number one, please, is the approval of the minutes of the Committee on Facilities Planning, Construction and Management meeting of November 2nd, 2015. May I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Check. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed abstentions. That motion carries. Thank you very much. Um, we are going to move to the policy calendar. I shall move the first resolution, which you have at your places and received in advance of today's meeting, entitled Hunter College Replacement of Air Handling Units for the North Building, 695 Park Avenue, New York, New York, 10021. This will request the City University Construction Fund to execute a purchase order, a purchase order on behalf of Hunter College with the train company for design and construction services. This will replace two 50-ton air handling units on the 11th floor of Hunter College's North Building. All purchases shall be chargeable to the State Capital Construction Fund for an amount not to exceed $1 million. May I have a second? Two. Second. Second. Let me first call on Vice Chancellor Bertram to explain why the resolution is needed, and then we will open the discussion. Vice Chancellor. Uh, so the North Building at, at um, Hunter College is 17 floors. This is on the 11th floor. Um, this is for two air handlers. In the building, there are between 40 and 50 air handlers. Um, and every when we renovate a floor, we change the air handlers. And as you can see, there's many, and this is just two of, of 40 or 50. And we replace them on a cycle. Thank you. Are there any questions? Is this part of one of our uh, design or construction um, pre-approval uh, No, this is, services? this is off a state contract. Okay. Where the state basically does the procurement and we piggyback on the procurement. Okay. And then we pray. <laughs> <laughs> Praying, yes. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Okay. Um, then all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Thank you, I know. We'll now move on to the second resolution entitled Mega Evers College Installation of Phase 1 of the Security System Upgrade for Multiple Buildings. This will request the City University Construction Fund to execute a purchase order with a security company to be named for design and construction services to upgrade the existing security systems and multiple campuses, campus buildings at Mega Evers College. Do I have a second? Second. second. Okay, let me once again call on Vice Chancellor Bertram to explain why the resolution is needed and then we'll open for discussion. Okay, um, this is a resolution for new wiring to ca for uh, cameras to go from analog to digital for all the three major bu buildings at Mega Rivers. Mega Rivers is also installing cameras in their parking lot. Um, if you look at the budget request going back two, three years, they've basically asked for this every single year. Um, and they think that it's really needed. So they waited long enough, and now they're going to get it. And the, the purchase mechanism is the, ex the same purchase mechanism that we discussed for the last one or for a state contract. Thank you. Are there any questions? Approximate yes. cost. I know they have to come up with the... Well, the, the estimate, it says, you know, it's... A million seven? A million seven. It probably won't be higher than that. Well, actually, it can't because your resolution says 1.7. So yeah. that's, the, that's the ceiling. Any other questions? Any other discussion? Okay, seeing none, now that the motion is on the floor, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Thank you. I will now move on to the third resolution entitled Brooklyn College, Transfer of Brooklyn College Student Services Corporation Building to the City University of New York to transfer the B. CSSC building to the City University of New York and subject to approval of the New York State Attorney General or the New York State Supreme Court and Board approves the transfer of the right, title, and interest of the Student Center to CUNY. 
This will allow the transfer of the Brooklyn College Student Services Corporation building to the City University of New York and, subject to approval of the New York State Attorney General or the New York State Supreme Court, the Board approves the transfer of the right, title, and interest of the Student Center at Brooklyn College to CUNY. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Let me once again call on Vice Chancellor Bertram to explain. Okay, the Brooklyn College Student Union is owned by a, um, a related entity, which is called the Brooklyn College Student Services Corporation Building. Um, and that corporation paid off the debt. And in order to basically make any, you've heard critical maintenance, this building needs critical maintenance. And the only way that can get critical maintenance fund if the building is owned by, um, is owned by the <coughs> I understand um, that the Queens College Student Union, which is the same thing, basically went through the, the same process. They pay off the debt, and then the, it gets transferred to CUNY so that we can basically do any kind of repair or maintenance that, that's needed. Are there any questions? Will the building continue to be used by Brooklyn College? Yes, it services? will, and in service primarily to students. Also sometimes rented by local groups in the community, nonprofits even elected officials. Okay. <laughs> Trustee Shorter. On the transfer, is there any value assigned to this building? Um, when we do the transfer, no, but there is a value to the building. And that is, or do uh, we know? Yeah. I'd have to get back to you. No, it's okay. Are there any other questions? I'd like to move it. Well, second. 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 You second it? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Thank you. We are going Thank to move you. on now to section two, our information items. So I, I thought since this is the end of the school year, we would go through um, what we've done in the last school in the last school year. Um, so just to give you a background, we have 286 buildings, 28 million gross square feet, and 12 million of it is over 50 years old. Um, and our budget request was $6.8 million. And, and what this presentation is going to show you is that we have great need, but we have received quite a bit of funding over the last 10 years from the state and from the city. Um, the projects that were completed in 2015 is the SRC, which you've all heard about, um, the City College Center for Discovery, and the Brooklyn College um, Graduate School of Cinema. So the, uh, th this is the ASRC and the City College Science Building. And the City College Science Building on my right, that's the City College Science Building on my right. And I'm bringing this up now because the last time we discussed this, there were no faculty in it. And that building is almost completely filled. And those, the faculty moved out of Marshack, and now I'm going to in the next part of my presentation, I'm going to show you what we're going to do in Marshack. Because, you know, you, when you, you, you have to do construction and you don't have space, you have to do construction with people in the building. Now we have a new building. People move. Now we have a, a building that has been there for a very long time, and we have to do renovation. Um, the reason I put this here, the Karen Lee, um, it's you know, Fierstein, not Feinstein. <laughs> Fierstein. Right. Fierstein. My apologies. Um, the reason I put this here is for two reasons. One is to remind everybody that this, is, this was a collaboration between the city council, the borough president, the mayor's office of media, the state, the college, and the uh, landlord. And this is a, a real partnership. And the other reason that I thought was really interesting, so the film skill opened um, little le less than a year ago, and I understand now um, they're starting a collaboration with their business school to go into the business of filmmaking. So it's not just filmmaking. The school is going to basically add a lot to Brooklyn College's campus now for their, their uh, business students. Okay, now the, the next is projects and construction. Now, there are over 350 projects in construction. Um, they are critical maintenance money and money for new buildings. Um, the first was at Brooklyn College Performing Arts Center. 
Um, this is packed. Karen's been waiting a long time for this. Um, and if you look, that's the, the, the top is the rendering, and the, the, the two below are what it looks like now. So this building should open the end of this year or the beginning of 2017. So we, she waited a long time, but it's almost done. Okay, City Tech, um, the rendering is on the left. I think this picture is a little old. I think we have, Bob, is that right? The, the, we have some of the curtain wall up. Well, a lot of the curtain wall on the west side and the east side of the building is all going up now. And the building, this is pretty old. Um, got a couple of delays associated with, with the curtain wall, but it's moving forward very quickly now. And probably by October, the whole thing will be totally enclosed with glass. And, uh, and, and brick. So. And the school will move in sometime in 2017. <clears throat> okay, the, this building um, was built in 1928. Um, we're starting what we call our phase projects. This, I, we're in phase one, and I would guess that 10 years from now, whoever has my job is going to be up to phase 12 in this building, because <laughs> that's how much money we basically have to pour into it. Um, but we are now in the procurement process. Um, we, we will basically do that selection, and I would, in the next six months, we will start construction um, on this building while this building is being used, which is really, really a challenge for uh, Baruch. Okay, critical maintenance. I think everybody's um, heard about this. <coughs> Uh, we did a survey in 2007, and we did another one in 2012. We're going to do another one in another year, and we're going to do that with SUNY because the way we got the original money in 2007 is we basically did the analysis together. We used the same technology, um, and that resulted in all the funds that we've gotten up to now. Um, we have a great need. We, have six, we need $6 billion over the next 10 years, there's hundreds and hundreds of projects. And these are just a few, and I, we just picked the largest ones. Um, Brooklyn College, um, the Ingersoll Hall is the current science facility. This is for $42 million. Queens College, the new science building upgrade for 27. It, I guess the building's not new, but we haven't changed the name yet. Um, <laughs> I always thought it was a donor, but it wasn't. You know, I just have to say this. <laughs> I was, yeah. this is going to show you how old I am. I was at the, the, um, not just the ribbon cutting. I was at the groundbreaking for this. <laughs> you didn't have to tell. What? You didn't have to tell. I, I just had to. Um, and this, this one is close to completion. City, City College Marshak, um, this is the building that all the um, science professors were in. They moved to the building that I showed you at the beginning. And we did a facade replacement. And this is really something to see, because we go to the building, they actually put up a whole new facade. And now we're starting the long process of renovating this building. Bob, how long do you think it will take? A long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Le uh, Lehman Central Plant, we couldn't have added a new science building without basically doing this. This basically serves the entire campus, and we just started this. Um, at the College of Staten Island, uh, the 6S Science Building, we are retrofitting fume hoods, replacement of exhaust fan. Um, and this building should save the university about 900000 a year for as energy savings. Okay, Bronx, Bronx Community College, um, you've heard about this for <coughs> a long time. However, um, we're giving them back the quad. We've basically moved away from the, the, the central quad, and now we're moving to the east side of the campus. And this took... We're in phase four, and this will have a few more phases, but we are getting there, and look at the amount of money this costs. Okay, we did a, a, um, central, boil, a central boiler plant upgrade at Kingsborough. 
We've also worked on quite a few projects as a result of um, Hurricane Sandy. Um, the HVAC system at BMCC is $18 million, and that's, that's underway. Um, this is the electrical upgrade at Queensborough Community College. Um, coordinating this with Con Ed is really interesting because we have to turn the electrical power off, um, and they can't do much of anything without um, electricity. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to give you the different types of things that we do for critical maintenance. Now, roof replacements, I could give you there's at least one or two or three roof, roof replacements on every single campus. It's a cycle. We have to keep doing that, um, but this is critical. Okay, another category is our escalators and our elevators. Because we're an urban university and we have a lot of, a lot of vertical campuses, this is critical. So we just completed we escalators at BMCC, Hunter. We're looking at York, John Jay. So these, these kind of things are ongoing. Um, bathroom upgrades are, we've been doing that all over, all over CUNY, and we're just starting a um, $14 million project at BMCC on the bathrooms. And the issue is, this is just like a classroom. You have to make sure that you have some functioning while you're basically doing the renovation. Um, this is as challenging as moving classrooms, I have to tell you, the bathroom. Um, this is facilities preservation. This is our project at LaGuardia Center 3 building, which is, that's going to cost like $125 million. Um, so I kind of gone through critical maintenance. The other thing that we're working on is the ASAP initiative, and I think everybody knows what that is, the model for the country for community college, and it's really successful. And our piece is finding, um, finding space for the mentors um, and some classroom space. So we basically surveyed, we have surveyed all the campuses, and we are looking for rented space for Hostos and BMCC, and the other campuses um, we're going to build out. And we've gotten, we've gotten money from the city for the build out, for the lease costs, and um, for the furniture. Um, so some of this will be done immediately, and some of it will take probably another year. So this is kind of what, a, a, a very quick picture of what's been going on. Um, anyone have any questions? Thank you for that. Yes, given the, the state constraints on bonded funding and, and the critical maintenance needs, so how are you making the decision, how are we making the decisions about where, what to go forward with and have you had to postpone any projects to? Uh, well, you know, we give out, what we do is, and we started already, we meet with every college, um, with every college campus, and we go through what their needs are. Um, and we create that book that we always give out. And with the college campuses and with the presidents, we prioritize. And based upon the funding that we get, we make a decision on what should happen first. Now, in that also, we have the course of construction in the last 10 months has skyrocketed. I think maybe it may level out in a few months. So we have to basically balance that. But we don't do this without talking to, the, um, to each college. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Along those <coughs> lines, are there some colleges that uh, absolutely need new space and additional space because of enrollment? And what are we doing about go forward capital funding of some of those projects if they exist? Well, the the. Are you talking about leasing space, or are you talking about, um, or both? You're talking about both. Um, well, we, we've asked for funding for many, many new buildings. Um, we've gotten some. You know, it takes, it takes five or six years or seven years to get enough money to, um, enough funding to basically build a building. Um, we look at leasing space where we can and where the, the colleges can talk to us about basically how they could fund that. But it's a balancing act, and I have to be honest, the, 
the schools do a really great job of basically juggling. And there are, there, are, there are schools that have more space, but the space is the wrong kind of space. So it's kind of a, a real challenge. And if you ask me who needs space, basically no, mostly everybody. No, I wrote everybody. the capital. Um, um, Madam Chair, if this is inappropriate, please I'll tell me. Know. But uh, everything we're talking about in terms of our growth of facilities and space needs is our spending our own money. Uh, I am besieged frequently, as I know that you are, by private sector developers who recognize that in some instances CUNY occupies space, didn't say they own it, but they occupy space where there may be some conveyance issues, but prime space where a private developer or private investor might be willing to come in and do a transaction with CUNY building out CUNY space and, and leasing space for their own uses. Are we paying any, I know we have a P3 initiative within the facilities group, but what attention are we paying to that at all? Well, first of all, I have a unit that, you're right, I have a unit that does that, and we look at all our assets. And we've, and we looked at all our assets to see basically what the opportunities are. So we're looking at at the opportunities for air rights. We're looking at just basically what you're what you're describing. Is there a plan? Is, do you have a portfolio of properties which are identified and stratified by ownership or lease? Well, Can we, you put your finger on a button and tell well, us we what? we did a um, there was a study done over the last, let's say, I think it was like 2012, and we plan on, wow. the Chancellor has asked yeah. to update that study. So we're doing So it's in the process need. of being updated. Right. Internally? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, what, given that enrollments are dropping in some schools and some disciplines, are, are are there, have we given much thought to reconfigure, and certainly enrollments are plateauing, I think is the projection right now, but are, are, is there much planning for reallocating space there if things are opening up internally or, you know? Your Honestly, things? we're so, except for maybe one or two schools, we're so overcrowded that I, it wouldn't, the mm -hmm. decrease is not going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, B, BMCC runs till 11.30 at night and well, yeah. LaGuardia has a building with 700,000 square feet where half of it can, is is not usable. Yeah, I know, so know that, yes. Maybe in three years, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Who is the, which, which is the most overcrowded campus? It used to be John Jay, I don't. BMCC. BMCC. They have the lowest per square foot student ratio right. in, the, in the system. I see. Under I would say five. I would say in many systems, if you yeah. if you look, uh, I would say it's probably. I, I don't want to say all over the country, but they could use double the amount of space that they have. And they have increasing enrollment. Is that not correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. But they could use double what they have. Yeah. And it's you know, if it, your question, so now we're doing the bathrooms. <clears throat> at that school. I mean, that is, as I said before, that is an unbelievable challenge because you can't, they don't have enough bathrooms to begin with, and now we're going to take bathrooms offline. If I remember correctly, weren't they, um, that school was only built for under 10,000. Wow. Right? Under 10,000 students. Probably so less. Right, yeah. But like five, maybe. And um, to do, well, the last time I had enrollment numbers, they were up to 20, something, something thousand. like that, right? Yeah. So actually, I, w I went to their I went to their graduation on, on the uh, Rice District. Yes, last week. Oh, it's unbelievable! But there are two graduations. Yeah. There were like four thousand students. There were eight thousand students. Yep. All right. Any other questions? She wants to end. Um, just one last one about um, what are what's the, what are our plans in general for addressing wiring, because as, as there's more wireless, as there's more use of technology in classrooms, for, as we're using more sophisticated equipment, that's a whole additional range of renovation, and, and I just wanted to get a general perspective on, on what the plans were 
there. That's not uh, critical maintenance, but that is going to address core usability over the coming. No, we, we, part of the capital budget, there's a piece in there for equipment and for basically worrying that you're talking mm -hmm. about. So that, that money basically goes to Brian Cohn, and he basically designs the plans for the, you know, the university. Okay. Okay. Seeing that there's no more business in front of this committee, I will take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Have a good evening.